You're probably used to seeing raw cauliflower served on a veggie and dip tray, or maybe you find the florets cooked within an inch of their lives and served as a soggy side dish. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss, and you're going to love the new and flavorful way I cook this cruciferous vegetable. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got this medium cauliflower, and notice here how I keep the stem on the bottom intact. Place it on a cutting board, I've got my sharp knife, and then a little bit off center, I'm gonna make one big slice in the cauliflower. Those are gonna end up as florets. This is gonna end up as a steak. I'm gonna do another slice, and I'm gonna make a one inch steak. Check this out. Look at that, it's absolutely perfect. One more slice. That's our second steak. We've got a bunch of florets here. So now what I'm gonna do is break all of this up and we're gonna place our florets and our steak on a baking sheet. I've lined it with aluminum foil. Here we go. I'll trim that down just a little bit. And then all you need to do is take a pastry brush and take about two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil and then just gently brush that on top. Once the tops are covered with oil, I'm just gonna sprinkle with a little bit of kosher salt and black pepper. So a little bit of kosher salt is fine. Plenty of pepper, go for that. And now for one of my favorite herbs, we have fresh thyme, one teaspoon. And once you've done that, you're gonna place this in an oven that you preheat to 425 degrees and then just bake it for about 18 minutes till the stems start to soften. For my vegetable makeover, I decided why stop at one vegetable? So I am gonna to top the cauliflower with a bean sauce. Let me show you how to make it. We've got our last teaspoon of olive oil in a skillet over medium low heat. I'm gonna add one garlic clove that I've minced. We'll saute that for just about 30 seconds. It's gonna get fragrant. Keep a watchful eye, we don't want it to burn. The garlic is cooked, and now I'm going to add pasta sauce. We've got three quarters of a cup here. Just use your favorite pasta sauce. A can of cannellini beans. I have drained and rinsed the beans. And I do that because when you drain and rinse beans, you wash away 40% of the sodium. And one more ingredient, and that is fresh thyme. We topped our cauliflower with a teaspoon. I've got half a teaspoon left. And just let this cook and bubble for just about five minutes. And do this while the cauliflower is in the oven. So to finish this dish, we're just gonna top our cauliflower with our bean sauce. And then if you like Parmesan cheese, a little grated Parmesan cheese on top, just finishes the dish. My cauliflower steaks are loaded with vitamin C and fiber, and they make a healthy addition to any meal. Who can say no to vegetables with my roasted cauliflower and white beans? Doubly delicious. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.